Your sister can help us. Although just Genshin. a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Wow, there are so many characters in this thing. Alright. Um. I, uh. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care at all. Alright, let's have a look around. So, something old and dusty. And a letter from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. All right. Guess I need to answer the door. One moment. Oh, sorry, my lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Uh. uh no, it's fine. it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem uh, upset. Yeah, not it's really your thing. business. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. Uh, I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the royal set, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you Why? telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. I don't think I can trust this kid. Oh, there's Lady, Lady Marjorie. Marjorie. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. Alright, good night. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. Uh... And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark, it raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. 
she was very pleased with herself. Uh, Her face was full of why? wonder as she said it. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. All right. Uh, Do you ask, my lady? I knew I could trust you. Hmm. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if I don't like Regent this. To receive us. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I kind of want to fuck Good up luck. for everybody. Got to be honest. Uh, fucking it up sounds more like fun. Hey, it's Lord Tyrion. I like Lord Tyrion. You can do this. I don't think I can. Damn, can you walk any slower? Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. I am honored, Your Grace. Mm -hmm. Yet not honored enough to kneel, I see. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family God, I hate this bitch. Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? Uh, she is. House Forrester's loyalty to the crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Uh, they were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. Mm. Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did say their loyalty was unwavering. She has a talent for equivocation, yet I question what she really thinks. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? Well, he is a new warden. warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I, the Queen Regent, and Tyrion, the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while, in fact, saying nothing at all. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Uh, yes, yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannisters, mm. and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Uh, there are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? 
Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? Uh, I will no, judge I her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Yeah, so do I. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she the would... the girl answer the question. Go on. Uh... I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. Uh, she is a threat to the crowd, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Land. I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Well, this is not working out the way I expected. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Gru's Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying yeah, times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. Uh, I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd. If that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crowd in this regard. Uh, okay. What are you suggesting? I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, I uh, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk no. I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if that was probably a mistake, but never mind. I will join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Good night, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. He always strikes me as actually a rather good guy. I think he's probably one of my favourite characters of the show. I never read the books, so I don't know that much. <sighs> Mira, I was worried. How Who the was hell it? is this? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Uh, it's more than a little intimidating. Not it didn't so go good. very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. 
That's an understatement. It's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with your fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Yay. Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? <laughs> it's true. And um. Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Yeah, you're gonna get us in trouble. trouble. We're just having some fun. That's one way of putting it. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. I'd rather not. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated uh, Marjorie well. No. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, scepter? I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the seven kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tar and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and. What are you doing? Remember that thing? Well. About... I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game, it's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting huh. okay. sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? It doesn't matter what you feel. It only matters what you say. You learn very quickly. Your yes. words to yes, Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Uh... My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you, for my family. But as you said, you're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near. And I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen, and maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both be cautious. Yeah, better to wait. Of course, my lady, you're right. Better to wait. Okay, is that it?